The royal family has highly trained security teams for a very important reason. As one of the most famous families in the world, they have been the target of assassination attempts and kidnappings for decades. Princess Anne Princess Anne escaped an attempted kidnapping in 1974 when she was returning to Buckingham Palace from a charity event with her then-husband Mark Phillips. As they were driving down Mall Street, they were stopped and the would-be kidnapper, Ian Ball, began firing a gun. Anne's personal police officer James Beaton, her driver Alex Callender and nearby journalist Brian McConnell tried to intervene but were shot and killed. Former boxer Ron Russell, who was passing by, was able to punch Ball and help and leave the scene, after which another officer who came to the rescue was shot, all four men recovered from their injuries and were awarded various medals by Queen. Recounting the situation, James said, I had nothing. I didn't have a backup car. There was no training, we thought nothing would happen. Now they're highly specialized, highly trained. Queen a man named Christopher John Lewis tried to kill the late Queen in 1981 in New Zealand. Hiding a gun, he shot the Queen through a window, but didn't hit. Eight days later he was arrested for public possession of a firearm and discharging a firearm in public, which surprised him at the time, as he reportedly replied, just two charges, what? Hell. If a bullet hit her, would that be treason? In another case, a man named Jusvant Singh Chael admitted that he entered the grounds of Windsor Castle with a crossbow in hopes of killing the Queen. He was outside her private apartments in 2021 when he was apprehended, and claimed he wanted to avenge the 1919 Amritsar massacre in India. He pleaded guilty to the second count of treason, as well as possession of offensive weapons and death threats. A Royal Guard officer questioned him at the time, to which he replied, I am here to kill the Queen. Prince George In 2018, a man named Hassan Rashid was sentenced to life in prison with a minimum term of 25 years for inciting an attack on Prince George via the messaging site Telegram. He pleaded guilty to encouraging terrorism after sharing several suggestions on how to carry out the attack, as well as images of George's school. At the time, Judge Andrew Lees said during sentencing, the message was clear you provided the name and address of Prince George's school, an image of Prince George's school and an indication or threat that Prince George and other members of the royal family should be seen as potential targets. King Charles The then Prince of Wales remained remarkably unperturbed when a man named David Kong fired two blanks at him in 1994 as he was about to give a speech in Australia. Although the man did not mean any harm to the king, but hoped to draw attention to Australian detention centers, he was sentenced to 500 hours of community service for threatening unlawful violence. 